During India's independence struggle, a young enthusiastic lady from a Parsi family, Homai Vyarawala, began a career as a photojournalist. Little she imagined that her years of hard work would one day be etched in the books of history. Today on World Photography Day, let's revisit the story of India's first female photojournalist who captured some historic moments during the independence era. Vyarawala was born in 1913 in a small village named Navsari in Gujarat. Her family later moved to Mumbai where she did her graduation and met Manik Shah, a classmate in college and a teacher in photography to whom she got married later. Her first photograph was a click of women at a picnic party of the Women's Club in Bombay which was published in the Bombay Chronicles magazine in 1930 for which Homai received rupee 1 per photograph. Later she moved to Delhi and joined the British High Commission where she began her career as a photojournalist and started recording pictures which have now become important treasures. Homai Vyarawala considered Jawaharlal Nehru as a favorite subject. Her most well-known photographs include The picture of the first flag hoisting ceremony at the Red Fort on 16th August 1947, the cremation of world renowned dignitaries like Mahatma Gandhi and Jawaharlal Nehru, and the epic picture of Lord Mountbatten when he was leaving India. The picture of Dalai Lama crossing over the Indian territory in 1959 happens to be another great inclusion in her archives. Homai Vyarawala quit photography after the death of her husband in 1969. She breathed her last at the age of 98 in 2012 after receiving India's first National Photo Award for Lifetime Achievement in 2010 and the Padma Vibhushan in 2011. Asianet Newsable would like to pay a tribute to this legendary photographer.